I don't understand. You know, I don't understand. I just, I just want to go back to Africa. I was trying to talk to you, but you didn't want to listen. So when, after the plane leaves, it's when you realize that you made a mistake. I'm just so frustrated because so many things have been happening. Leading up to this, this is the second time they've prevented me from boarding. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Maren and I'm Maureen. Yeah, so today we are going to be reacting to a video posted by a very famous African YouTuber called Miss Trudy. I don't know if you guys know her. Yeah, but for clearance sake, for those of you who don't know her, Miss Trudy is uh, originally born in Kenya, but now she's married to a Ghanaian and both of them, she and her husband are YouTubers. Right, she was recently in America to be specific Miami and now she was trying to come back to Africa right mm -hmm. but she got detained at the airport and they were not giving her reasons why yeah so let's watch what she went through at the airport her experience and then you come back and talk about it excuse me who can I talk to who is in charge <laughs> But the plane is leaving. No one is talking to me. The plane is leaving. Like no one, no one cares. I'm just been told to sit down. No one is saying nothing. Everyone is just busy doing their own thing. And the thing is, some people are just standing. By just standing, no one is talking to me. And the plane is about to leave. I don't understand. And, uh, this is so frustrating. I was kept waiting when I was checking in because they said uh, I need a return ticket from Ghana and I told them I live in Ghana, I don't need a return ticket. And they said um, I need a, an identification card from Ghana. I said no, I, I don't need that. I usually fly. So I showed them the marriage certificate. They said they need to confirm. This is the same thing that happened two days ago. So I missed my flight. So it's happening again. They frustrated me. They kept me there. Everyone left. The counters were closing. Then they let me go through. Now I'm about to check into the plane. They've stopped me again. I'm sitting here. I'm waiting. I just feel so frustrated with this whole system, you know. Guys, this is crazy. Now I'm being told that I can't get into the plane. They're saying they're confirming from Ghana. I'm telling them everyone in Ghana is asleep. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. It's literally eight minutes before the plane leaves. And I'm seated here. They're saying they're waiting for confirmation. Guys, oh my God, I can't. This is too much. I'm telling them this is not my first time in the U.S. I live in Ghana. I've given them a marriage certificate, which is original. Guys, and I'm telling them if the plane leaves me, they better have accommodation, food, and transportation for me. Because this is beyond me. This is the second time this is happening. So let's wait and see how it's going to go. I'm going to keep you guys posted because I don't understand what's happening. I seriously don't understand. I'm just frustrated. And everyone is just busy. No one is giving me any information. Guys, this is bad. Like I've flown to the U.S. so many times and I always go back. Foreigners don't get an identification card immediately. You must stay in Ghana for a couple of years to get an identification card. And I'm trying to explain to them and they are not having I'm just I just feel so frustrated. I'm just so done. Like I'm just so done. How can I sue this airline? How please if you know how I can sue this airline, drop a comment, let me know. This is the second time. I was here two days ago. The, when I was here two days ago, I was able to go through. Um, um the only the only thing that made me remain behind was the heavy luggage so then i come again today i paid for the extra luggage i think everything is sorted then now they're telling me marriage certificate i need an id from i'm like what is happening 
It's like they don't even know what they are saying. They haven't even done their own research. Guys, now I'm talking and no one is responding to me. I'm asking who they are talking to so I can get some information. I'm not being told anything, guys. I just feel so frustrated. Five minutes before the plane takes off. Five minutes. Oh my god. The US, but now no one is talking to me. Now the plane is gonna be leaving me behind. I don't have anywhere to go. And I've told them, do they have accommodation for me? Do they have food and transportation? And they said no. So I'm like, at least do your research. They said they are calling someone from Ghana. No one is making any calls. No one is doing nothing. So I'm here yeah. and the plane is leaving. Now I'm stranded. Stranded for the second time. I don't feel like crying. I don't understand. You know, I don't understand. I just, I just wanna go back to Africa. It's been good, but these guys are gonna make me regret coming here. And the reason why this is so frustrating is because this is the second time this is happening two days ago the same thing happened to me they refused to let me fly you know and living in miami is so expensive miami is one of the most expensive states in the u.s just a night is about 200 dollars i haven't counted food transportation my cards are not working <sighs> guys so the flying the, the plane it left me left me for no good reason and no one wanted to talk to me no one wanted to explain anything to me they thought my marriage certificate was fake then they said i needed a card a ghana card i'm like god you know guys so they put me on a wheelchair and they took me back to the exit and gave me my bags so the reason they put me on a wheelchair is because I was in so much pain. I could hardly walk. My legs were in pain. Even coming to the airport, um, for some reason, like there's a muscle that has dislocated or something. So walking is so painful. I can hardly walk. So it took so much strength for me to just get through the airport. But yeah guys so that's the video for those who want to watch the whole entire vlog you can head on to her channel it's called miss trudy right? right so we can't play the whole video here but you can go and watch it on her channel something that is very important i have to explain is why she doesn't have a Ghanaian id for those who don't know miss trudy is originally kenyan but she recently got married to a uh, Ghanaian. so she's not spent enough time for her to be awarded or you know given a national id for Ghana so that is why she doesn't have a national ID for Ghana but what she does have is a marriage certificate of which you see I feel like okay being stopped being stopped at an airport and being singled out you know it's not like she's a criminal okay and if they genuinely wanted to prove her origin or what that what she saying is true they asked for her documents and she gave them what her marriage certificate you understand which was original you know and so they put her aside they were not giving her any explanation nations she was supposed to be boarding her flight which the time the boarding time was very very close and it was nearing but they were doing nothing the calls they were saying they were making they weren't making any calls of which in Africa at that time people were sleeping you understand so if even if they would have made call maybe they would, have, would never have gotten through to somebody but they are not giving this lady an explanation they've just left her there I do believe even criminals when they are you know I'm not saying she is but I'm just trying to um, mention an example mm -hmm. even criminals when they are taken aside at an airport I, I believe they are not detained, left detained they yeah. told the reason why they are detained, detained under yeah. suspicion or because they want to check something and they are normally told when they are checking you understand mm -hmm. but what was the reason for them to pull miss trudy aside put her there her flight is about to take off they're not assuring her they're going to pay for her flight ticket if she misses the flight back home they're not assuring her accommodation if she misses her flight and they're not uh, they're not they don't want to gar to guarantee that they will give her food mm -hmm. so uh, most people in her comment section her, her fans they were saying that she was being racially profiled Mm -hmm. by the airport and that all this happened to her because of the skin color of 
you know her yeah. skin i don't know you guys let us know was this a racial racial case mm-hmm. because i can tell you one thing for sure she missed her flight she had to sleep somewhere and you had her say in the video that she didn't have anywhere to go so she was stranded but she managed to get an airbnb but because you know miami is a busy town she couldn't um she couldn't find a room to sleep in so she had to sleep on a couch in front of um in the reception area that is where she had to sleep but i have to say that the video had a good ending because the airline did call her back and they upgraded her you know her ticket she was given a business class flight back home Mm -hmm. and they took care of her but i have to say i wish i hope they compensated her financially Mm -hmm. because emotionally they worked on her yes and then the two days she spent in my my army whereas she could have been in africa Mm -hmm. she spent a lot of money there you Mm -hmm. know yeah money that she didn't uh, anticipate to spend there Mm -hmm. so let me read a few comments from her from the comment section what her fans were saying Mm. the arrogance and racial discrimination in us is terrible so guys let us know was this a was she targeted because of her race you know was she targeted because of the id document she didn't have Mm -hmm. another one says this um speak to a supervisor speak to a supervisor the stress is real god be with you sis but she was asking in the video if you watch she was asking to speak to someone in charge and they, they were not responding they were ignoring her she was asking to speak to somebody another one says this has nothing to do with being black this is an this is the airline following ghana's rules okay this is good okay following Ghana, Ghana's rules I'm glad you made it back safely hmm, so that is something we didn't know so it's good to know because I didn't know that Ghana's rule that was one of the the country's rules you know which is a good precaution but apparently these are the kind of videos that help us and educate us all as a, a collective mass you understand mm-hmm. so another one says here exactly someone who is supporting that point exactly international travel has rules and protocols shared by all nations to protect all of us stop the gaslighting and un- un- unwarranted drama mistrude was your fracas with any u.s immigration ice or cbp official no stop using your black skin to play the vi- victim card are oh i feel like this one is harsh I feel like that one is harsh yeah she wasn't i don't genuinely i don't think she was playing the race card she was genuinely worried and the fact that she was asking questions that she wasn't getting answers to mm-hmm. made you see and why she i think distressed. you can understand why she thought it was a racial case because mm-hmm. um i think also she did even her she didn't know the policies of uh, returning to ghana mm-hmm. and the airline uh, staff they didn't care to explain to her that that was the particular issue that made her be held Detained, back yeah. Yeah. and you remember she's saying a, a couple of times that um this is not her first travel to the u.s actually she has been to miami before and she's never had such an issue you understand yeah, so, so this is something that got her now that she went back to the to miami and they were not telling her exactly so in her head i understand why she didn't think that this was, was an issue with it was a requirement of even the gun mm-hmm. ghanian um airports mm-hmm. i think right now she knows and she knows better mm-hmm. but uh, airlines should also do a good job at explaining yeah. to detainees why, why they're, they're being detained, detained yeah. and why they're not being allowed to access their flights yeah yeah because she didn't know mm-hmm. another one i'm a travel agent my experience with qatar has never been pleasant at all some of their staff tend to have issues with travelers who hold certain passports or are from certain countries it's mm. either they tell you you have too much luggage and frustrate you with the luggage issues or they hold you for no reason their airfares are great but avoid booking them if you can hope everything works out for you trudy i can imagine that appears to be so frustrating i'm glad they realized and acknowledged the inconvenience they cost you though so what this one is saying here in africa there are certain countries especially west african countries Mm -hmm. that if you hold um uh passports Mm -hmm. that are from west african countries you'll Mm -hmm. really get have a lot of trouble getting into other countries Mm -hmm. especially the nigerian passport Mm -hmm. and now apparently the ghanaian passport you Mm -hmm. know so the person was explaining that airlines when they see these certain passports individuals from that country usually get a harder time accessing their flights than Mm -hmm. others other countries that have no restrictions with their passports Mm -hmm. yeah 
another one the airline wanted some wanted more proof from her so they didn't allow her to board her flight this is not caused by the u.s mm. being black in the u.s is real you feel targeted every move you make i just remain prayerful at all times i pray your strength miss trudy keep the faith the lord is with you i think i'll leave it at that you guys i have to say <laughs> well let me just be honest when i was watching this video to be honest i was very very concerned for her mm -hmm. because miss trudy is a very laid-back person and she's a very she's respectful a good person. person she is she's and she's a good person good person respectful and very laid-back she doesn't call quarrel with people or she doesn't look for trouble you, mm -hmm. you understand but mm -hmm. in this case trouble found her so when i was watching this video i was feeling like okay okay she, she's in this situation right so mm -hmm. for me like a normal person to be honest you'd be so angry you'd be looking for ways to sue which she was looking for and people would go through with that you know mm -hmm. people would be looking for uh, for a way to get back at this airline but i'm happy she didn't find a way to get back at them because you, you see now uh in the end people are coming out and they're telling her some uh, the, the, the other things, things she should, she should have also had mm -hmm. with with her before she went to the airport mm. but yeah. my thing is yeah she's good you take in the moment when when things t change for the, or take a better turn you know your situations so after they called her back and they upgraded her ticket miss trudy went to first class if you've not watched the vlog go and watch it i encourage you yeah and she was happy, happy. she was you know yeah, like she was like a baby a baby that had forgotten she'd gotten a flocking right she was enjoying the all the treatments of the business class yes. you know oh that she, she was being served she, they're bringing her uh what is it called her the pajamas baby. and she's very excited like a little baby you know and she really it's not that she forgot but she decided it, it, to, it helped with her exactly. having a focusing on journey back home, home and focusing on the positive side you understand yeah, yeah. because i was looking at the video and i was like miss true have you forgotten why are you, forgotten? Why are you forgotten? eating with those so much happiness you should be looking you should not you know you should be you know angry at these people what they made you go through how could they do that to you you know and i'm like hey even after all this you still manage to be polite to these people lord mm -hmm. <laughs> but you guys i don't know what you think about this episode you you let us know if you're an african a black person and you've traveled and had a bad experience or just a traveler in general you